Yeah, good morning, YouTubers. Scrappers. Back in the shop again. Got a little time. But sometimes it seems like my job gets in the way of my scrapping. But uh, my main money maker until I retire. Yeah, today I thought I'd try to do something a little quicker than last time. Last, last video was nearly an hour, like 57 minutes. I don't want to upload it in 10, 1080 because it takes too long to upload. So I convert it down. <laughs> it takes an hour or two to convert it. At least that video it did. Somebody zip tied this thing on. Well, I guess I need to adjust this camera where you can see what I'm doing, huh? Zip too far. Yeah, somebody did some zip ties on this thing. Trying to experiment. That's 10. So, magnet sticks. I guess I'll toss it right there. Yeah, I got a little, a couple little TVs to tear down here one of these days. This is not much in them. This old TV radio, but the thing is analog, so it not, doesn't do much good nowadays. Yeah, that shaft is pretty rusty. This thing must have been left outside a long, long time. Yeah, I'll tap on it, see, try to pry on it and tap on it, see what that can do. Yeah, Scrap and Pellet Man is talking about a video, he did a video, things he picks up. I picked up this long screwdriver several years ago, scrap, and I really like it. It's, you know, so long it makes a nice little pry bar. I wonder if I should squirt some WD-40 on that. That might help. I got some breakaway out there in the other room. Picked up at an auction. In there watching a few videos this morning, drinking my coffee. And uh, kind of trying to figure out ways to pick up more subscribers. If you have any ideas, yeah, leave me a comment. I may have to just get in there with a the sawzall. I don't know if I can pry that up with a claw hammer. Broke. We got a small crowbar out here in the other room too, if I need to. Uh, well, I got this long thing. And I've got a shorter one over here on the magnet. There it comes. Didn't need the long one. Yeah, if you're liking my videos, please subscribe, comment, share, hit the notification button. You know, I think it all helps. I think if more people comment, it might help get me up in the rankings for what YouTube shares or what they put on their on your main page when you're looking for videos and whatnot. And I try to keep these educational if, if, it, if possible. Yeah, there's not much to these little fans. Little, little motor, a little bit of copper. And uh, it's kind of the, one of the main things we're after in this. Just trying to get that copper. There's that screw. 
And I start talking about something, then I get having to think about what I'm doing, and then I forget what I was talking about. It might just be old age. But most of us will get there. There's a little switch. There's cutters. It's got some tin on it, so I'll throw it in the tin bucket. Yeah, I picked up a bunch of junk. Some of these, this plate here is aluminum. It's just got a few screws on it. And I got a piece of aluminum there. I think it was kind of tore up, so it's probably not much good. Still got all that junk to go through. I'm gonna throw that in there, even. I think that's galvanized tin. I don't know why. I threw it aside. Yeah, now it's sticking. Sure enough, it's. I toss it into that pile. I must have thought it was aluminum when I pulled it off. Still a little cool outside. The wind's blowing. It's. Doesn't feel too bad out here though. I'm curious what the temperature is. But that's aluminum there. Yeah. Yep. Real thin. Put that in my sheet aluminum bucket. I got a thermometer over here, a digital one. Saying 46 degrees right now. So 46.6. It's not too bad out here. It's supposed to get up to 59 today. That's gonna be real nice. Yeah, that last video, like I said, it took a couple hours to process it and I think I started uploading it. Well, I shot the video from about 12.15 to almost 1.15. Then processed it. That took to about three. And then, uh, so about three o'clock, four o'clock, something like that, I started uploading it. And that thing was still uploading the next morning when I got up at five o'clock for work. What did I do with those cutters? Now, laid them way over there. There we go. Yeah, one of these days I'll do a video on bunch of these motors or tear them down and get them down to the satters like this where I can chisel them whatever get the copper out now you got cast aluminum housing here At least the screws aren't so rusty, they're stripping. Nothing sticking in there, so there's no bushings of any kind in there. I got a couple screws out there. Yeah, I've been looking at 
watching a couple of videos, try to, you know, to grow the channel. And, uh, Uh, that's kind of crimped in all the way around there, so looks like it's probably going to take some uh, or two of that little, little channel locks. Huh. Set them aside somewhere. Yeah. May have to just put that in a vise and take something and try to drive it. A screwdriver is probably not the best thing. If I need a punch. Or just hit it hard, break the little piece off. It's just pretty much cast aluminum anyway. Get about a third of it. That should work. Get about a third of it broke off there and then get, put it opposite and this should pry right out. There we go. And there's a little metal ball there. And clean that little... I don't know what they call that stuff, but it, they impregnate it with oil and then it keeps everything lubricated. It's almost like ground up paper or something. Okay, that's about clean enough, clean cast. <laughs> yeah, I had a small pair of channel locks here earlier. Not sure where I put them. Not up there. bucket over here for right now and there we go and then I'll just air chisel the one side off pry it out the other or you can use a hacksaw if you don't have the air chisel hacksaw angle grinder saws all yeah many ways of doing that I don't know if I'm angled down quite enough yeah. Starting to see my belly now, so should be far enough. Now, as far as getting this piece of this aluminum off of here, I got a pin going through the shaft here, and then it looks pretty rusty too, so it may or may not slide. I'll uh, sometimes a little WD 40 on it. To help lubricate it a little and help it slide a little better. Um, see if I can. Yep, that pin doesn't want to come out. So, what I'll do. that thing off. And I got a pin here too. It almost looks like a nut on there. See the pin coming into there. And it pushes through and it springs back in. Okay. Uh, that probably won't work. It's too big. Well, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that. Might be able to. Oh yeah, that probably work real good right there. About perfect. You can see that I have this bracket here. Tin right off of that side too. <clears throat> that worked out real well. I 
You know, I was going to tear down a microwave in this thing, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to have the time. I want to try to keep this video pretty short. And I think I've already been going close to 15 minutes. And the thing does unscrew. Yeah, great. I thought I was going to have to just... I doubted if I could punch it out, so I thought I'd probably just have to uh, break the cast. So... Yeah, I think I've already been going 15 minutes. I don't know if I want to try to do a microwave right now or not. Yeah, I might just save that for a little later in the week. Yeah, they've been working the Saturdays, and I guess the next two Saturdays, I'm gonna have to, uh, well, they're getting, receiving's gonna work, shipping probably won't be there, but uh, I might go ahead and put in for the you know, volunteer to go in and get some overtime. Uh, as far as growing the channel, I've had, I think in the last 28 days, I've had 40 some subscribers, so I really, I can't complain. It's, I'm, you know, they're coming in pretty quick. Uh, I saw a fellow scrapper was using a, a program to kind of help work the YouTube channel. Uh, called Tube Buddy or something like that. So kind of looking into that, in that Tube Buddy, see if that helps. Might help with keywords and stuff like that to get the videos noticed more. Uh, the more people that see it, uh, the better. But uh, I think I just noticed there's a reason my cell phone here is a monitor and right there in the corner side there it says 17 and it's going 20 21 so i guess this is 17 minutes long already i never noticed that little timer on there before so that's real interesting i had this little bracket here to hold cell phone holder mounts to a tripod so i took this magnet that i had put a quarter drilled the hole out a little bit quarter inch put the quarter 20 bolt in there and uh so it makes a nice little stand so I just mount it about anywhere, hopefully, without having to have this have a, this little mini tripod. You know, have, have that much space to set it down on where I can put a coffee can down or something that doesn't take up a lot of room and set it on top of that. So that monitor kind of helps helps me to see what you see. Otherwise, I'm lost. I have no idea exactly what's in the, the frame and what's not. Well, I'm going to call it quits. We're 18 minutes into this. So I'm going to go ahead and just call it quits with the fan and keep this short. And uh, maybe in mid midweek or so, I'll try to get over here and do one of these microwaves. I've got four right there, and then I've got a couple ancient ones, big, huge ancient ones in the other room. i got these two little TVs, and i still got to break down all these motors. And i got a pile of little stuff over here. And uh, stuff I just kind of tossed aside. We'll work on that one of these days. So, happy scrapping, folks. Keep living the life. Uh, we'll uh, catch you later. If you have any tips on how to grow the channel or anything, you know, uh, go ahead and leave it in comments. I like to hear from you guys. Uh, yeah, and share the video with your friends. Yeah, you know, I, I think we all have a few friends that do scrapping. But uh, you guys have a great New Year. I think let's say the fifth. Yep. Yeah. All right. Till later. Bye-bye.